Good knife skills will make you better, faster, and safer in the kitchen. It's not uncommon for people to feel intimidated by their chef's knife, and I get it. But if you follow these tips, you'll be a pro in no time. I'll show you how to hold and move your knife and how to hold the food. Before we get started, you need to have a good setup. Start with the cutting board right in the center of your counter. I have two bowls here, one for garbage and one for finished foods. I keep a towel and a scraper handy so I can keep my board and my knife clean. If you're right-handed, you'll work from left to right. And if you're left-handed, just flip this setup around. The most important thing to start with is the way you hold your chef's knife. Instead of gripping the handle, pinch the heel. I put my thumb on this indicator and then wrap the rest of my fingers around the handle. Holding the knife this way gives you the most control, balance, and strength, so you stay safe as you cut. Now that you've got your grip down, let's practice the rock slice. This technique creates a natural slicing motion, and you can practice with the cover on if you want. Knives work better when they're moving through the food, not just pressing down on it. So by keeping the knife in motion, you're constantly slicing through your food. Now we're ready to add some food to the mix, but you have to know how to hold it. The way most people cut food, they keep their fingers right next to the knife, and that's what you want to avoid. So I use the claw grip. It keeps your fingers away from the blade and lets your knuckles act as the guide for your knife. So your fingers move slowly backwards and your thumb acts as an anchor. So let's put it all together. Start by creating a flat base for your food so that it stays put on the board. Hold the knife with the pinch grip and hold the food with the claw grip. Now, keeping the knife in constant contact with the board, start slowly rocking your knife in a circular motion. Once you get comfortable, you can speed up and eventually you'll be cutting like a pro. So the next time you're trying to get dinner on the table, take a moment, think about where your fingers are where your knife is, and these tips that'll help you stay safe.